way back when in the, uh, this would be like the early nineties and I was working at USA Today. I was um, the, uh, covering technology for USA Today. And, uh, and, you know, at the time writing about most of the usual stuff, personal computers and, you know, IBM and things like that. And um, I remember reading a couple of things, uh, a couple of the er earliest ideas that, um, A, there was going to be this thing called interactive television, which just some of the cable companies were starting to work on. And, and B, this idea that content was um, beginning to be digitized. Uh, and um, and you know, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I understood it really early on, like how huge this was going to be. It, it's because um, you're fucking smart. That's why you understood it. <laughs> you, I, I, you're you're I, way, I, way I, modest, Kevin. The size of your brain is so large. I'm surprised they don't make you wear some kind of a neck brace or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, well, I'll take that. But still, um, so I, uh, I. So I started covering, aggressively covering, like I really think I was one of the earlier reporters to aggressively start covering this idea that media was going digital and, uh, and what that was going to mean. Um, and interactive television, there was a whole thing about 500 channels of television and Al Gore with his information superhighway. And I knew, I knew there was, um, there was a, a book in there. Now I had never written a book before. I just a reporter then. Um, and I, I put together a book proposal um, about this idea and, and uh, sent it to like every publisher known to man and every publisher known to man said, you know, basically screw you. It's this, you know, it's, Hey Kev, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> or you. And, uh, and so like, I thought, you know, I threw this thing in a drawer and, uh, and thought, you know, like, well, okay, maybe I'll just, this is not going to ever happen for me. I'm not going to be a book author, even though I have to tell you that one of the goals in my mind from the time I was like in college was one of these, someday I'm going to write a book. Um, and uh, probably six months go by and I continue writing about this stuff for USA Today. I'm still getting a little of your scratchy. Sorry. Uh, okay. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting too excited. I'll try not to move. Um, and, uh, uh, and I, I, out of the blue, I get a call from, um, this editor, his name is John Mahaney and he was at Wiley books at the time. And, uh, Mahaney said, uh, you know, I was just reading a couple of the most recent stories you did in, in USA today about, you know, some of this digital media information, super highway stuff. And he, and he said, literally, these are the words out of his mouth that he said, he said, you know, I, I don't know about, I was thinking that the, there might be a book in that. And, uh, and he was kind of asking me if I knew of somebody or like who would be a good idea to write a book like that. And I, I and I, my answer to it was, I said, well, I have something in a drawer that I can send you. <laughs> and, uh, um, and, you know, there was this head because of the, you know, the series of rejections, I actually had this, this book proposal sitting in a drawer that I literally sent him the next day. Um, and, uh, and he signed me to a book deal. It was my first book called Mega Media Shakeout. 